Alright everybody, Expedition 1, first step, bonus typing of fighting, without further ado, let's go ahead and smash that 1-1 one -one to get into uh, level 1 of Expedition 1, and we're just going to quickly get through this because I'm using a level 42 Flareon as well as a level 21 Pikachu, main reason for me doing this expedition and recapping it is to show you guys the expedition, for those of you that have yet to seen it on my channel. And also to make a video about Expedition 1 and all of its levels and glory. And the main reason is to farm cooking ingredients because I'm running low on those things and they're really important for me leveling up and continuing on with my Pokemon Quest adventures in order to get through Expedition 10, 9, 8, and 7. And Flurian, I don't know what you're doing over there casting Flamethrower to nothing, but it's all good. Pikachu can solo with its Thunder Shock abilities. And for some reason it uses Surf against Flying types, but that's okay. That's how Pikachu rolls. But again, for those of you tuning in, thank you all very much for tuning in. Got questions, post in the comment section down below. I will be doing a video for every expedition and adding all of their levels into the same video. So, once I've completed an expedition, I will make sure I can go ahead and get back into it by re-completing it as quickly as possible. And uh, showing you guys all of that expedition's glory. Just completed the first boss for Expedition 1, level 1, and that was a Meowth, so Sage has been officially cleared. Got some uh, cooking regions, I hope. XP is going to be pretty much null onto this because my Pokemon are a little bit too high. But again, cooking ingredients in full, which is kind of what I'm here for. Next up, Expedition 1, level 2, 650. Let's go ahead and get straight into this. kind of forget, and it's also cool to go back to these expeditions, but I kind of forget what all the bosses were in these old school expeditions. Now, I don't even remember seeing a Caterpie back in the day, but anyways, it's all good. Florian's going to quickly squirm through these little guys because, well, she's a fire type and absolutely destroying them, I hope, even though Pikachu kind of destroyed the, the Weedle for you. But we're getting through this. Two cooking regions already. And this, oh, it's, it's just so... It's not fair. It's, it's just not fair. I'm, I'm using a level 42 Flareon, fam. This is just... This is not cool. Also, for those of you tuning in, this is Expedition 1. Even your starting Pokemon will get through these levels pretty damn quickly. It's kind of like a... A start to your adventures. This game gets a lot more difficult, which is kind of why I'm back on Expedition 1, so I can quickly farm some cooking regions while I am doing this. Uh, looks like boss number 2 is a Kakuna with a bunch of Caterpies. I don't really remember it being this difficult, but as you guys can see, once you have killed the actual boss for that level, there's no requirements on to killing the little small fries. So, that is another level done, and more cooking regions in the bag. Next up, Expedition 1, level 3, 750 total. Now let's get to it. Again, cakewalk for me, because my Pokemon are out-leveling this Expedition. Expedition start. Now, as you guys can see on the top right, this one actually has four different levels, or four different uh, levels to clear within this level. Um, can I say level some more, fam? Uh, we've already got a cooking, two cooking regions. Oh damn! Flareon just hit nothing over here, but it's gonna go ahead and chomp and get a little kill out of that. that. Um, I just picked up a cooking regent, but my number didn't go up. That's kind of weird. Hope, hopefully, you're not jipping me over here, Pokemon Quest, because it's kind of the only reason why I'm here for. It. And that's a little bit OP, Pikachu. You did not need to paralyze the bird, because uh, bird is not the word at the moment. I believe it's a Pidgeotto. I'm assuming it's a Pidgeotto because there's a lot of Pidgeys. A lot of Pidgeys and Spearows in this level, but I'm still assuming it's a Pidgeotto because I do remember seeing one way back when, when I started this game a long time ago. Ooh, there's a Growlithe. Is that rare to find? Actually, no. I kind of had a Growlithe the first time I played this game. That would have been nice to get an Arcanine, but I'm not. I don't have one because I'm rocking the Flareon, fam. Even though our canine's better, I still like Flurry on him. Um, that's how I roll. Damn, Pikachu, you quick as fuck, boys. 
That thunder shock though, it it should be like an AOE thunder shock. Like it should hit anything that's like nearby in front of your face. Cause I mean, sometimes things conduct electricity, you never know. Uh yep, called it Pidgeotto and three Pidgeys. I mean Pikachu should still be able to solo this. Cause Flareon just does not want to fight today. But good job to you guys for killing the uh, the Pidgeys first. That was a little bit smarter because that actually gives me an opportunity to get more cooking reagents from this. And now we finish off the boss in 3, 2, 1, poof. That actually would have been a one shot if Flurion just did that in the beginning. Oh, cooking reagents on cooking reagents. We got a total of 16. That's exactly what I need. I can finally start cooking and attracting some Pokemon to the crew. But not least, Expedition 1, Level 4, Boss Mode, 850. Let's get to it. Don't remember what the boss was, but this is the last level of Expedition 1. It's, as you guys can see, it's the same level for every single Expedition. Just the only thing that changes is the Pokemon. We've got a Flying type with two Normal type Meowths, and uh, we just smashed through that. So that is clearing of stage one got Spiro with that's just it one Spiro all right well you better get one shot bro with two more got you cooking regions on cooking regions oh no four more they're just spread out fam I never noticed this before um, again this is also on auto so I can't really control my Pokemon that well that actually just means I can't control my Pokemon at all I'm letting the game play itself so I had my Flareon just flamethrowing for nothing. Don't blame, because that's not me doing that. So pretty much just flying type Pokemon, flying and normal type Pokemon in this one. I wonder who the boss is then. I really I really don't remember this one at all. We've already faced off against a Meowth, a Pidgeotto, and a Kakuna. Persian? But I don't remember seeing a Persian at all. Surf would be nice right here. Thank you. See, the computer knows what it's doing. Oh, we're stacking up the cooking regions. This is going to be so good. Oh, oh yeah, shit. I forgot. Gems are pointless to me right now. All these. Oh, no. These gems are actually going to turn into cooking regions. Oh, my gosh. I forgot about that. You can recycle your gems, fam. Remember to recycle, fam. We're facing off against Eradicate. Is it a totem Eradicate? Are we doing Pokemon Sun and Moon over here? I don't think so. It doesn't got that red aura effect. Oh my gosh. Really, Flareon, did you have to use the flamethrower on the freaking Raticat? Like, was it worth it? Use it on the Raticate. Now. Right now. It's like perfect. You're not going to get knocked back. Thank you. Let's see. That's all we needed. Expedition 1. Completely done in the bag. 15 cooking regions plus all of the uh, recycles of the gems. So sweet. See you guys on into Expedition 2. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.